Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 6317561125 for the best prices anywhere in the New York City tri state area. When it comes to snow removal products like rock salt, pellet dough, mag ice pellets and flakes, along with spreaders, shovels, snow blowers, whatever it is you need to make sure your home is clean <clears throat> and safe. They're at, uh, again, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon on Long Island. 6317561125 is the phone number and the website omnitruevalue.com. Overall, we've had a pretty nice day here in the uh, northeast and down into the northern mid-Atlantic states, although we're beginning to see some clouds coming in from the northwest. And that is a weak upper air disturbance that is moving through. And with it, there's a little bit of snow. So if you happen to be awake in some areas, say after 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, till about uh, maybe 4 or 5 a.m. Uh, Friday morning, uh, you might see some snow, and there it is on the radar. It's this very narrow northwest-southeast band that's kind of sliding east-southeastward. Uh, it's moved into north northwestern Pennsylvania. Uh, the observations are showing that a lot of the snow is either not reaching the ground, or if it is reaching the ground, it is going to be <clears throat> very, very light. In a month where we've seen hardly anything, uh, this will produce hardly anything. So if you take a look, it cuts off rather sharply across Pennsylvania. Mainly, if you go south of Route 80, you're really not going to see any, much of anything. And then even up into northern New Jersey, you know, very little here is what we're talking about. And uh, then you see the snow coverage in the Hudson Valley, in Connecticut, Rhode Island, uh, Massachusetts, and then on up further to the north. For the most part, uh, areas... Uh, that we contend with, northeastern Pennsylvania to the Hudson Valley to southern New England, uh, including uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. We're talking about a coating to maybe at most an inch. You have a couple of twos being indicated here in parts of the Catskills, which sort of makes sense because there's a little bit of elevation there. And you go a little further upstate New York, you allow maybe for the possibility that there could be a coating to perhaps an inch or maybe two. And that's just about it. That's it, folks. Uh, we're done after this is this goes by, because after that, uh, we've got a couple of fast-moving weather systems, and the next uh, issue is going to be some rain. So uh, we've got the new NAM, so why don't we take a look at that? I'll let it uh, load here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, here it is. Uh, it brings an area of very light snows there. You see it back. Uh, this is tonight at at 1 a.m., uh, little patchy areas of snow uh, that move uh, into uh, southern New England and even touch Long Island. And this is at uh, 7 a.m. on Tuesday, south and west of New York City, uh, very little, if anything at all. And then that whole area just continues to slide to the southeast as we go through the morning. And by 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, it should be done. And then the rest of the afternoon, the rest of the day on Christmas Eve, should be, I would call it rather um, uh, cloudy, and temperatures will be in the 40s. And here comes a warm front uh, for Friday night uh, that'll bring in a few showers or, uh, Saturday morning around 1 a.m., and then a round of rain uh, for the daytime Saturday. Now, Saturday's a little tricky because, if again, if you're south of Route 80 on Saturday in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey, uh, you'll or maybe let's go Route 78 in New Jersey, you're not going to see much of any rain at all. And in fact, from southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey southward, temperatures are going to be topping out in the 50s and maybe even getting into the 60s in places like Maryland, Delaware, and northeast Virginia. But uh, with the low tracking in northeast Ohio and then kind of taking a jump there up into upstate New York <clears throat> and continuing to the north and east, It'll push some rain through here during the afternoon in northern areas and move it up into New England. And then as winds turn to the northwest during uh, Saturday evening and Saturday night, drier air comes in for Sunday to finish off the weekend. Colder air comes in on the backside, and that takes us into Monday. So you can see it's a relatively uneventful 
uh, pattern that we have here going forward with these fast moving weak weather systems. Here comes the next one on Monday uh, that's lining up uh, with uh, some rain and snow ahead of it. But guess what? That pretty much gets suppressed. Uh, a lot of that precip weakens and falls apart. And then we have to wait till Wednesday when we get another low that comes out uh, from the West. And that maybe stands a chance, a better chance of bringing in some rain. And there's really no indication of any change in the long range pattern anytime in the next two weeks. The trough is going to be staying pretty much in the West and the Ridge pretty much in the east weather in five brought to you by omni true value hardware at 1226 north wellwood avenue in west babylon new york 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town omni is the website tonight the joe and joe show at 7 30 eastern time our regular time and uh, we're going to be off friday and saturday for christmas eve and christmas day and we'll be back sunday morning at 11 a.m. So be sure to catch us tonight, take the holiday break, and then back again on Sunday. So we'll see you tonight at 7.30.